What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to Tower Defense Tuesday. Today we're taking a look at Data Defense by Indie Studio Two Blocks Gaming. This one is kind of a re, it's not quite a direct port over from mobile, it's kind of a reimagining of the game and it is scheduled to release on Steam on June 21st coming up in just a few days. Now, the launch day price is going to be $9.99 US. I've got kind of mixed emotions about paying $9.99 for a relatively unknown tower defense game. However, one thing I will say is this game is addicting as hell. Once you start playing, it is very difficult to stop. It's really got the basis of being a very quality tower defense game. Now, what's it all about? Well, you are protecting your servers from a viral corruption from glitches, bugs, and viruses. So glitches, bugs, and viruses are the baddies, and you will run defensive programs, aka towers, to fend off all of the badness. Now, as you see, currently there is a campaign and a survival mode. Um, as you see, I've made it up to the seventh server. Didn't four-star all of them. Actually, only four-starred one of them, it looks. Or that's the challenge map for two, including the challenge map. So I could go through and pick up some extra stars there. Uh, of course, as you would expect, as you progress through the storyline, you are going to unlock additional defenses. Uh, the campaign itself is based off of stars. You want to collect stars, and that's how you will unlock these new defenses. And then there is also a survival mode. And this survival mode is a lot of fun. Uh, from what I see right now, there's only one map. Uh, however, survival mode, you're going to earn memory. I think these were called memory leaks. These will drop throughout the maps, and you're going to want to pick those up, the currency up in the top left. So it's entirely different currency. You do purchase your new abilities with this currency. However, you have to unlock them first, and it's not really clear as how you unlock them. I am assuming that it's through the campaign mode. And since I haven't played far enough through the campaign, I don't have everything unlocked. Uh, as you see, you got six different areas or six different types of defenses. You've got utility defenses. You've got delay defenses, which are crowd control and slows. You've got debuffs, which do exactly that. They debuff the enemy. You've got a straight up damaging single target defense. You've got area of effect defenses and then you've got traps that you can throw down. Now, as you play through the campaign, there is different maps and there is different features in the maps themselves. Uh, this has popped me right into this one. So let's frame rate. What can we up it to? It looks like 60 is the cap. So let's go ahead and let's see. Let's exit out to the main menu. Let's start fresh here. So, on the campaign maps, as I was talking about, there are various uh, features inside the map itself that you can use to your advantage. Uh, for example, this, uh, this particular map has got these particular features laid out on the map. Of course, this is showing the path of the enemies. So, we start off, I've got 20 to spend, and what do we want to do here? I mean... We can start off with just a couple of damaging defenses right outside there. Maybe put a slow... Hmm, I kind of want them going the same way. Let's take a slow there, and then let's start pathing them um, this way. One of the things I like the most about it is you're choosing your path. You're choosing the path that the enemies will take. And that's just plain awesome. Let's see, let's get this... Kinda, I, I definitely walked this one all out here, that is for sure. Ooh, they're going up and through there. Hmm, maybe I want to come down with them and then have them go around this way. That would be kind of interesting. Anyway, let's go ahead and start this one up and see how we do here. kind of unsure what path I want these enemies to take. I feel like I really need to block that path. Of course, the ping is the cheapest tower. You can't upgrade that, which stinks. Okay, there is our little memory leaks. So we grab that. We got a trap. Now, I didn't really talk about the traps. The traps are something you would throw down in the lane itself. 
So it's going to drop in the lane. The first enemy that hits it is going to insta-die. So uh, that is where the traps would come into play. Let's see. Let's get another slow here. We'll kind of have them do a little bit of a bob and weave here anyway. Ooh, and now they're going around the other way. Oof. Good lord, I got that block just in time. I'm going to have to sell this to figure out what I want to do here. I mean, obviously, I need them coming up and, and through here. We're going to have to see where they're going. Um, as you see, we do have upgrades available as well. We can drop a trap right here. There are enemies that will follow the path. There's also enemies that will go directly through the towers. Uh, it's quite enjoyable. Like I said, I had a, really a great time playing it. Let's see. Let's fix this up a little. It looks like they're going through there no problem now. That is so weird. Oof, such a close call here. Yeah, we're going to get some uh, baddies coming through. Now, you don't have as many lives as you normally would think that you would have in a tower defense game. If you look... Over here, this is a protective ring. Basically, if any data gets into your mainframe, then it's game over. That is corrupted. So you've got two protective rings, meaning that three of the enemies can make it in. The first enemy will destroy the first ring. The second enemy will destroy the second ring. And then the third enemy would get it directly in. Now let's hop out of this game mode and go to... Let's go to survival, as I think most fans of tower defense games love a good survival game. So let's take a peek. Uh, for our loadout, of course I don't have everything unlocked, so what I'm going to bring... Basically here, this is an AoE slow, and this is a single target slow. The single target slow is 25% slow, the AoE slow is only 15%. Now of course these towers are upgradable. Now we've got a buff beam here, a boost tower, it's optimized, augments nearby tower programs. So it's boosting nearby towers by 25%, however it is expensive to build. So I am actually going to go with the ping tower, which is the cheapest tower available. It only costs two to throw one down, and you can't upgrade it. So this is like the perfect pathing block. To be honest with you, although I really want to get that, that boost going... You just have to have a cheap tower that you can throw down. Um, nothing is better than ping in that particular regard. Uh, it, as far as these two go, I'm going to take the AoE tower, and then everything else I've just got to use what's given. So I've got decompile here, which is going to permanently reduce defenses a max of three times. So it's going to reduce an enemy's defenses three times. We got that fast firing single target attack. We've got an AoE fragment. And then we've got the traps, which is just straight up the delete program. We can throw that right in the lane. So let's go ahead and hop on through the map. Now, this map is really wide open. You can do anything through all this. You could have them path down all the way back and forth through the whole thing. However, as I mentioned, there are enemies that will go through your defenses. So I think I'm going to start off with what seems like would be the easiest way to me. And that is, I'm just going to do the zigzag path up and down. So just to start things off, I'm going to get these ping towers. Actually, let's get a slow right there. And then we'll go with the loop for the, the fast hitting damage at the end. So now I'm going to want to pass them up, path them up this way. I've got 33 left, so I'm in great shape there still. Why don't we go with... Hmm. Let's just put a regular ping here. Then let's go with the decompile for the debuff on them. And then let's get an AoE tower right at the end of it. So they're still going to be getting this slow here. And that AoE tower will be able to get some damage in. Uh, let's go ahead and f finish that up with what? Uh, a couple of the rapid fire towers. We've got enough left for a few more. So let's go ahead and do that with it and we'll get the thing started here. Now, throughout this, I'm going to want to keep an eye on any of the memory leaks that are going to drop on the map. Uh, there's one right there, as if I grab those, it's going to give me the currency. They will disappear 
if you're not using them. So make sure you grab those. Let's go ahead and basically go with the same pattern. So we're going to go with a decompile. Actually, we don't have a slow up here like we did here. Hmm. Let's go with the slow there and then the AoE right here. And then we'll finish it up with two of the rapid fires. I want to make sure I'm getting the, an appropriate amount of slows in. See, here's the enemy that will pass right through your lines and will not follow the maze. Now, this is going to be an interesting little challenge in the game for sure. Let's see. Let's go with our ping. Let's do the exact same thing as we did over there. We'll go like this. And then go with these three. Basically, I'm trying to complete the line before I go back and do any upgrades at all. Let's see. So what did I do here? I went like this. Then AoE. And two of these guys. Make sure to snag these before they disappear on me. And I'm basically going to follow this pattern all the way out. We want the, the AoE and then three of the rapid fires. Now, if you look at it, one of the things I made sure to do here is, since we do have so many enemies that are the enemies that are going to pass right through all these defenses... I'm trying to make sure I don't have any direct path that's not going through an area of these rapid-fire single-target defenses, as that is what's going to really burn those enemies down. Now let's go ahead and get our maze finished out here, and then we'll get in and start doing some upgrades. Make sure to grab any of those I can. I'm sure I've missed a bunch already, probably this run alone. Okay, so now we know that the pings cannot be upgraded, so we're going to go right to our slows. And I'm just going to start upgrading this stuff. You can upgrade it to Tier 3. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it all to Tier 3 right out of the gates. Let's see, we might need a mine in for this guy. There we go. Very nice. And let's just rinse and repeat and follow suit with that until we get all this stuff upgraded here. Need some more juice. I'm not quite ready yet. Loading up pretty quick, that's for sure. The mines do stay, so if you have a moment where you're not concerned about anybody pushing, you can like throw some mines as like last resort right down at your core or your mainframe itself. Let's get these... Oh, I'm not quite ready yet. There we go. Let's see, we got another. Let's just throw another one in right there. That'll give us a nice, uh, nice bit of last resort there. It gets really, really intense. The enemies start pushing like a mofo. <laughs> I mean, this is obviously a survival, so it's going to be endless. It'll go until I fail. Let's get all of these ups in. Man, that slow gets pretty large. Kind of curious, does it stay at... Oh, it goes up to 35%, so it goes up as you upgrade it. That's pretty awesome. Let's just keep getting upgrades in. Nothing is really pushing too far, but like I said, I do know that things will get pretty intense. Now I can skip the countdown timer, too, and get more enemies on the map, which is going to give me a score bonus at the end. I don't want to overwhelm myself here and end up losing because of it, but you want to skip that as often as possible, really. Let's see, let's get another trap laid down here, get that last resort protection in. You definitely have to keep your eyes out for all the little memory leaks that are dropping so you can pick all of those up. 
let's continue this upgrade cycle here. More traps. I'm anxious to get more stuff unlocked. Like I said, the game, although it's such a minimalist game, there's just not a whole lot going on on the screen. Well, I mean, there's going to be a lot going on, on the screen as I keep going here. But uh, you know what I'm saying. There's not any intense graphics that are loading or anything like that. However, this game is just ridiculously addicting. It's just, you just want to go, it's got that just one more thing going like crazy. I mean, no doubt about it. We should do pretty decent on this one. My last run, I got top 1% in high scores. Now, obviously, the game's not launched yet, so there's very few playing it. I'm probably top 1% of maybe 10 people, I'm not sure. Or 100, whatever the case is. Still uh, relatively easy to achieve. Almost ready for another mine. Let's drop that bad boy. These guys here are making the push. I'm wondering if I want to upgrade this stuff down here. See, now it's starting to get a little bit more intense. These guys are... This dude here is pushing big time. I'm gonna take a mine to eat him up. Alright, first mine popped already. Wow. All right, I got a ton, a ton of resources now, so everything can get up like crazy. Oh, these guys are pushing big time now. They got the no joke mode going on here. Another mine laid down. I can't believe it survived that. It looked like they were coming in pretty heavy and were going to wreck things, but somehow managed to make it through. Keep slamming these upgrades in. I've got quite a few of this uh, currency saved up here now. I'm kind of wanting to get all that stuff spent, but uh, I get, need to go through the story a little bit more of the campaign before I can do that. Oh, oh, I didn't see that one. All right, so our first protective ring is gone. That one was one of the ones that could pass through walls and just came right on through. Oof. Let me get this last resort stuff upgraded a little bit more. A little bit more here. Alright, it looks like our ring regenerated. Hmm, that's interesting. I didn't really realize that aspect of the game either. It appears that our ring will, will regenerate there, so that's a good thing. Especially for these, if we do a really long endurance type run. I'd like to get this whole area covered with traps for any of those that float through again. Skip away and get it get it really intense. Get some intense action going here. Where are we at on our upgrade train? I feel like this is going to end up going badly here pretty soon. <laughs> I just really have that feeling. Let's go ahead and skip right now and get a crazy big wave. That's not a good idea. Let's do it anyway. 
Oh man. These guys are no joke now. They are not messing around. We've got almost everything upgraded now. I mean, we got a few more to go. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is a big, big, big push here. I think I need some more advanced towers to be able to hold this off. Let's see what is left for upgrades. It looks like just this one. And I think I've upgraded everything I can now, so now it's going to be all about just placing more mines. And uh, getting this stuff wrecked as it pushes in. I wish there was a way to drop your mine cooldown. Ooh, see I lost one there, it disappeared on me. Yeah, these guys are coming now, oh man. Ah, oh good, I saved my, saved my mine there. It definitely gets intense. Now I think the back, the down, the down and back technique would be better on this map, but you would have to survive. You would have to survive through the waves of the enemies that will come out and go right through everything. Yeah, this is going to be over soon, but this was a good run. I think this will beat my, beat my previous high. Ooh, somebody's coming in hot. Oof. That guy's in. Alright, so the first ring is down. Now let's look if this doesn't just end in face roll here. Oh, this is going to end in face roll. Yeah, there we go. I tell you what, that's pretty good. New high score. That is pretty awesome. 104,000, so like I said, top 1%. We don't see an actual leaderboard to know for sure. Anyway, like I said, I got mixed emotions on the $9.99. One part of me says that is a bargain for this game because you're going to get many, many hours of enjoyment out of the game. It is that addicting to go ahead and jump in and start playing. Another side of me thinks $9.99 is a little bit steep. I don't know. It's 10 bucks. It's 10 bucks for a game. It's a game under $10 that you're definitely going to get at a minimum, a few hours of enjoyment out of, at an absolute minimum. But I'm liking what I see so far. I'll definitely play it more. It's uh, it's it's casual, yet still hectic and fun. So nothing wrong with that combination there, and definitely a nice addition to uh, potential tower defense games to play out there. However, that will do it for now for this Tower Defense Tuesday. So thank you all so, so much for watching. Uh, links to all the goodies are down in the description below. Uh, the game releases on June 21st. Make sure you wishlist it. If not, uh, that does look positively uh, to the developer. So by all means, wishlist the game. I like what I see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we get some maybe some new maps and everything in the future. Or new towers. Uh, as you saw, I've got tons of stuff I haven't even unlocked yet. However, that will do it for now. Thank you all an absolute ton once again, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.